the button here. Hey, everybody, we're going to record tonight, just in case. Uh, welcome back. Yes, yes Leo. I want hey, to... Leo, wait one second. You're jumping the gun. I know. I know you're anxious. Another silver on the team. This guy is a maniac. Yeah, he's not, he's not here tonight, but last week, is Marie France. She's here. Yes. She's, uh, she drives silver about four, four weeks or five weeks. And she's in, in under weekend. six weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six weeks and Mark today. And Mark, in, wait, so is Mark, who's Mark sponsored by? Is uh, me, I'm sponsored Diane. She's not silver and she, she sponsored Mark, Mark and silver uh, yesterday. Okay, wow, fantastic. So that's duplication guys. You know, um, I definitely wanna have this conversation Leo because listen, your, your, your ticket's the hottest ticket in town. So we, we need to really understand better um for everybody's sake just what you're doing what's the magic and and i mean i've looked at it more than once and and to me it's really simple but i want i want it to be simple for everybody to understand um just what it is that you're doing because you know we we had a great by the way we had a great presentation this weekend did we not like this wasn't a master day fantastic I thought it was fantastic, yeah. And um, and by the way, welcome to Aligning with Success. <laughs> I forgot to say that. Um, I'm your host, Mike DiMuccio here. Uh, normally we have this call available just as an opportunity to align with success, meaning remind ourselves, which we need to do often, what are the rules to success? What makes success possible in life, in Niken, in our business? And, uh, and what we're, you know, and to learn from the people who are making it happen. And right now we have one group that's really uh, pushing the envelope. Uh, for, from my understanding, Leo's team, three silvers in the month of July. Now, July is not typically a, a hot month in Nikan, meaning, you know, it's hot in temperature, but it's not necessarily our, our business building month because a lot of people like to take vacations in July. And, and yet some people just look at that opportunity for what it is and vacation time or not go to work and, and make the most of it. And so Leo, you got your third silver this month on your team. Marie France is here. We heard from Marie France, which I, I boy, yeah, if you haven't heard, I believe it was the, I don't think it was last week's call. I think it was the call before last. Was it the call? Before, it was last week's call. Maybe it was last week's call. Okay. So if you haven't heard last week's call, so today is July 25, 2022. Go to last week's call and listen to her story. Because here's a person who knew nothing about Niken, who was extremely reluctant to even learn about it, especially since it involved a 45 minute drive one way. So if you know, if you've had any prospects give you, give you grief, here's an illustration of what it means to be persistent, you know, and uh, she, you know, whoever her sponsor, how her sponsor, I guess, uh, sold the, the night to, to make the effort to come because she had an A, she invited an A to present, so good move. Um, and so Marie France, I guess, on a, a little sense of guilt and obligation, but still made the effort. Great story. When you hear a story, she becomes a silver in less than six weeks. Here's a person who was not only reluctant to, to learn about this, but turned that amazement, which she had, into production and, and sharing Niken with people who she thought would, would benefit from this information. And the result of that was an explosive opening month. So fantastic. Um, my only, uh, my only advice, Marie France, both of you who are both silver on this call uh, this month, I, I, all I can say is don't take your foot off the gas pedal. W what happens a lot in our business is people, they get started, they get a great start. They, they just, they just get that airplane off into the, off the, off the runway. And then they sort of think, oh, I made it to silver. Now I'm a silver. And they throttle back. And of course they're not high enough to, to miss the treetops. So <laughs> hit the treetops and on the ground they go. So I suggest you don't take the foot off the pedal. You keep the throttle full throttle 
and take this plane as high as you possibly can in the next three to six months. And I'll tell you why. There's a phenomenon in our business of network marketing. It's true for every single network marketer, every single network marketing company, anyone who's made six figures or more in a year in network marketing knows this. You have to have critical mass. In order to achieve critical mass, you need to have momentum. So you've got to have momentum to hit critical mass and you've got to have critical mass for the business to become self-sustaining. Now, what's another example we could give is maybe a fire. You know, when you're starting a fire, you want to, you want to have some dry logs on the fire, which means in our case, people who are hungry, people who really want what you've got to, sh to share. Um, and you need some kindling. Kindling is the stuff that gets it up real quick. You know, the really dry sticks, the really small sticks, maybe paper, something that catches flame fire really easily. And that's usually our product stories, by the way. Our product stories are usually the kindling. The thing that really lights things up is these product experiences and product stories. And then you want to get those dry logs on, but you want to keep piling them on until they catch. And when they catch and they really get going, that's when you can sort of sit back and watch that go. And then every now and then put another log on the fire to keep the fire going. That's you know how you do a fire. What most people do is they put a little bit of kindling together, light it up, watch it burn real fast, and then watch it die real fast. <laughs> they forget to put the logs on. So don't forget to put the logs on. So what are the logs, the dry logs? These are obviously people who have uh, desires like you, ambition like you to contribute, to make some type of contribution. Uh, you know, you may have not come into Nikan thinking, oh, I'm going to make this huge business out of this. You may have just been inspired to. And you're, and you're not doing the things that cause a business to emerge. Just don't stop doing those things is what I'm saying. Find a few logs, find a few leaders on your team that are even exciting you and maybe want this more than you do. And that's when it starts to get really exciting. When you find yourself catching your downline or trying to keep up to your downline, <laughs> that's when it's most fun. Now, I, I, Leo, you said that Marie France has become, no, Mark became a silver before his sponsor did this month, yeah? Well, okay, so that's really cool because a lot of people think, oh, isn't this one of those pyramid things? Well, how's that possible when you can outrank the person introduced you? You can out earn the person who introduced you. So those are the two fundamental things that make that argument die on the vine. I can outrank and out earn the person who introduced me. So explain how in the corporate world that's possible. <laughs> that's the pyramid, not this. So um, yeah, Leo, you got your hand up. Same thing for my France I know. Ah, oh, really? So, yeah. so she's outranked her sponsor as well. Well, okay. So the focus then, of course, is to help that. Well, you've got the time. I mean, you do have three running months. You don't want to take that much time. But obviously, they now have a reason, a motive to go silver, don't they? Doesn't your sponsor now have some fire under her? Yeah. And that's, you know, one of the best ways to, to get the job done is help somebody else advance to silver and then you will be propelled by that so that's that's cool that's great examples by the way that's also a great example of uh, digging deep you know going down a lot of people also don't do that they think oh i just sponsored my next royal diamond i can't tell you how many times somebody's introduced me to their next royal diamond and i'm always thinking in my head where was your first so it's usually not the best way to describe somebody just say i want to introduce you to my new partner and let's go from there. Um, anyways, I digress. What I wanted to say was, first of all, we had a great uh, event this past weekend, um, Master Day. And I just want to hear maybe some of the takeaways before we turn our attention to, to Leo and maybe some things that we can borrow from your success this month. Um, so what were some of the takeaways that you got from Master Day? Just one or two really key, key points. Like if you just got one, that would be enough to have made it a very good investment of your time and energy. So anyone want to shout out? What is your takeaway from Master Day this past weekend? Yes, Mary Fox. Just 
I mean, I'm already on fire, so I don't know if this, this makes sense, but it's just like more fire, you know, it's like gas on the fire. That's exactly what makes <laughs> sense. On the yes, fire. It does. And I was so excited that yesterday between uh, during my, my work day, I have sometimes, you know, dead spots. So I watched the previous master day. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> They're yeah. all great. They, they yeah. all have yeah. exceptional content, very motivating, very informative, but, but it did a job. It did its work. Its work is to put gas on the fire. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, now that you know that, well, let's, let's carry on. Anybody else want to share? What was your takeaway? Paul. Um, Sophia and Savannah and Elena they stressed uh, the importance of uh, creating personal relationships online. And you can't just have eyes and ears listening. Eventually, that it has to move into uh, relationships. And I, I just was happy to be reminded of that. And, and, and not only that, I thought the content with respect to what they delivered was unique. You don't usually hear that um, where they were just talking about, you know, share your vulnerability, share your story, share your life. And those who are attracted to who you are yes. as a person are the ones who are going to be engaging with you. And then, I mean, obviously they're of like mind, so of like vibration. So you'll have some great uh, opportunities there to, to connect with them. Clara. What was your takeaway? Yes. Um, one of the big takeaways, I, I was very shocked at the, some of the, the statistics that they were going over. You know, the number, the amount of, amount of sleep that all of us get in like a, a couple years time. Seven uh, years after, trying to sleep. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes, um, the number of times you find yourself repeating yourself to kids, yeah. um, the amount of times or the, the, how much TV you consume, you know? Eight years how, and four months. Yes, it was very shocking, mm. the statistics that I came across. And as I was listening to that, I'm, sit, I'm sitting here thinking, we could be doing better with those statistics. We could really be doing a lot better with that and spending yeah, right. more time with people, doing more things. Interacting with people, exactly. Yes. Building relationships, building the community, learning from each other. I mean, I, I, I love being entertained. That's, that's for sure. I mean, I almost ended up in the entertainment world. I love being entertained, but when you consider how much time of your life is actually nested in that and what you could have done with that time, I mean, there's one thing I know every one of us will probably be thinking uh, in, that, in that last moment, you know, when we're taking our last breath, we won't be thinking, gosh, I wish I had more time to watch another TV show. <laughs> I don't think so. So yeah, we should really consider how much time people are spending doing things that are not productive. We used to call that the income reducing device, the IR device, because because every minute watching television is a waste of time. Jeannie, you have your hand up. Yes, in Brody's call, his message was just really awesome. But I, when you go on a journey, you have a vision for where you're going. And that just really spoke to me. Um, and then what am I gonna do today what am I doing today towards that vision? And then be sure and share with people your vision. Mm -hmm. And well, and then there's another caution to that sharing with vision. Um, when it comes to your personal vision, remember I talked about two visions, business vision, personal vision. Mm -hmm. When it comes to sharing your personal vision, be careful because sometimes the people that you share it with may be the first to want to steal it from you. Remember he said, you know, even family members. Yeah. So caution when it comes to sharing your personal vision, when it comes to your business vision, for sure, mm -hmm. uh, because it's about what you're going to create. 
but your personal vision is about you personally. And some people um, who don't see themselves in the same light may be critical of your vision, but it's not you they're being critical of. It's not even your vision. It's they are simply seeing something in you and in that vision that is causing them to feel anxiety about themselves. It's a reflection mm -hmm. on them. And, and that's the same thing about people who say no, you know, they're not saying no to you. They're saying no to themselves. They're saying no to the possibility for themselves because they don't see themselves in that situation. And that's one of the reasons why I ended my presentation on that note, you know, the whole concept of why, if you can't see yourself in a better situation, then it's going to be pretty hard for you to attract anybody to see themselves in a better situation. And so it, it starts with you seeing a better version of yourself and starting to live that version as though it were the truth. Linda, you have your hand up. Yes. Hi there, Mike. This is going to sound familiar, but it helps me a lot and I'm improving it and you're going to recognize it. You said you talked about the daily method of operation, that DMO, mm -hmm. and that's really the crux of everything. If we're not monitoring what we're doing, and as the days go by, I mean, here we, it's already the, Monday's already gone. This is the last week of the month of July. How did that happen? We've got to chronicle what we're doing, be really deliberate about how we're spending our time. I love the way you broke that down. I've heard you say it many times, but it, it, never, it, it never gets old because it's, it's a basic building block. And I love when you put in there, put your pebble in the pond and let it do that rippling. So I really got a lot out of that, Mike. Oh, thank you. Wonderful. You know, um, anybody else, by the way? You know, Leo, um, and by the way, Madeline, you did a fabulous presentation. You really pulled those stories together. I thought it was a really great piece that uh, just was a great, way to tell the story and to, and to weave it all together. I thought it was just an excellent story time for us. Thank you. Um, did I miss somebody? Did anybody else want to add? Okay. Um, you know, when I was looking at, and when I'm looking at, when I analyze things, um, some of you are, are not on, on in my organization. Well, I guess even if you were, it didn't matter. If you were in Canada, I publish every month um, the, my top 10 PGV list and, and the top, uh, the people who hit 500 points. So if you did 500 points, personal volume, you make it on a list. And, and I do that list in order of the top, uh, highest to the lowest in the PPV, as long as it's 500 or more. And then I do the top 10, um, PGV and, and you get to see who's doing what. And, consistently without a without question making that list is leo he's always on that list and it's not uncommon for him to be in the top one or two spots on that list either in terms of pgv so when it comes to what is the magic why is why is this business really outperforming uh, most people's business when it comes to uh, PGV, not PPV, but PGV, which is group volume, which is where we're seeing the, the silvers and so forth coming from, then, you know, when I look at that, I say, okay, based on what I know, based on what I see, what, what do I feel is, is happening here that, that is not happening everywhere? I was recently watching a, um, a video by Richard Brooke. He's one of my friends, and he's, I'm a big fan of Richard Brooke. He, he, if you're not part of his, uh, his Facebook group, find him, Richard Brooke. He's the guy who authored The Four Year Career, okay? And he does a thing called The Daily Dose of Salt. You know, you, can't, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. But what you can do is salt their oats, make them thirsty. So he does that, Daily Dose of Salt every day. And it's great. And, it, and some of the stuff that he does is just really simple, but poignant. And he was talking about, his strategy, his secret, the secret, which is, he said, you know, if you were to contact one person a day, just one person a day, then you would be in the top 0.01% of network marketers, about one in 10,000 network marketers who contact one person a day. 
He said, go look at your, your company's uh, income disclosure and find out what the top 0.01% earn. Because that's what you're in, that category, when you're doing one contact a day. You, you put yourself, exalt yourself into that category. Go look and see what they earn and see if it's worth it. And of course, we all know the answer to that. Of course, it's worth it. To be in the top 0.01% of the company is, is definitely a big income So and definitely worth it. So what's making... I think the, the key to the business that we're seeing through Leo is there is a consistency, something that's being done with a consistency and it's not being done sporadically. It's being done daily. There is a DMO. He operates a DMO and I think he teaches that DMO and that collectively creates a campaign. It creates the idea of a, a groundswell, if you will, a groundswell of activity and then out of that groundswell comes a silver, and then comes the next groundswell. So it's like this. If I, if I sang do a deer, a female deer, and then I pass it on to Paul to start singing while I keep singing, and then Paul sings a couple of notes, and he passes it on to Leo, and then Leo starts singing, and Paul, me, and Leo are singing, and then Madeline joins in. By the time we get all of us on this call, it's going to be like, whoa. And then if I stop and then Paul stops and then Leo stops and then Madeline stops and so forth, it'll get back down to quiet. So that's what's going on. It's just there's a consistency that he's doing that he's then passing on, that's being passed on, that's being passed on. And that's creating that groundswell of activity and what comes is a silver. And that's what's happening. There's another thing that I think that's very consistent. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mike, there was yes. one more thing. And that, this is Barbara. And that is, they will do what you are doing. The duplication. That's exactly right. They'll do what you do. So, which is why I said, don't take your foot off the gas. Don't stop singing. It's not time to stop singing when you're just getting the course started. You want to get everybody singing. And so with this, with this consistency that, that's being shared, then that creates that big experience. And one of the things that I think that's really important is he's getting them together. He's getting them to sing together and they're expressing that with regularity as well. So I, I know you all know he does a meeting, his team does a meeting on Mondays. And in that meeting, one of the things that they do that I think is also very, very important is product stories. When I went to Montreal and we did the meeting, the live meeting last month, I think it was a month ago, something like that. Um, it was the live stories. You know, I, I, I think I'm pretty good when I speak. I think I'm pretty good when I get going and, you know, people appreciate what I have to say, but nothing, nothing captivates an audience more than stories. Those testimonials including me, the speaker who was sitting at the back saying, wow, man, I forgot how good this is. And that's what's important because that is like putting gasoline on the fire. That's why Marie France, when you were on the master day and you're hearing all these presenters and all these stories, it's, it's not so much what they're saying, it's connecting to their energy. It's connecting to their enthusiasm, to see the twinkle in their eyes, to see the expression in their voice and hear it. That's what you're connecting to, that energy. It's like a choir, and all of a sudden, it, it just fuels us. Well, that kind of a meeting is really, really critical for our business. We're, we're a business where we need social proof. You know, if there was only two of us on this call tonight, that's not a lot of social proof. But, you know, 20 people, that's pretty good social proof. That suggests whatever it is that we're doing must be important enough for 20 people to show up. We want to hear what Leo is doing, Michael. Exactly. So, Leo, yeah. <laughs> I've identified a few things. And tell me if anybody on the, on the team, Leo's team, tell me if there's something more that you're doing that is important, was important to, the, to going silver. So there's some, something about consistency, something about the stories, the testimonials, meeting as a group. What... What else is, is happening on a daily basis that's 
tipping the scales, making things happen for you? My turn? Okay. Maybe before I, I like to, uh, to interview Gary Brown because we did a silver last week. Gary Brown is the micro, microphone. Gary Brown is Yes. Can you share, Marie Marie Frans, we want you to unmute, yeah. Yeah, can Hi. you share how to do silver in less than five weeks? So Hi. tell us, what was your journey? My journey? My, <laughs> okay, excuse my English, I'm not uh, very well, okay? <laughs> my journey, I woke, uh, I woke up in the morning and I, I just think about people I can help, okay? Since they... Uh, I started in the business in um, June, June, uh, June 30, and I just think, how can I help people to 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 be uh, healthy, to be good, to be to be rich, to be? <laughs> and I do a list, and I I tell people uh, I I go uh, I go and see people and I go and reach people. <laughs> well, how did you contact them? Did you go see them in person? Did you contact them by text, by phone? All of that, all of that. <laughs> uh, I contact first uh, by by uh, text or by uh, messenger. Uh, I contact them uh, in person. Uh, it's just, it's like that. <laughs> what was your goal? Was your goal to meet them in person? Yes. Yes. So yes. is that your goal always is to sit down with somebody to meet with them in person? Yes, yes. For okay. me it's uh, it's uh, much much important because uh, in text too it's not a uh, personal personality. It's I not can, enough. I it's not intimate uh, the, not yeah. Yeah. And I I can do the the, the test with them. Okay. So okay. the importance of the in, in person okay. is because you need to be able to do the tests. See? Yes. <laughs> and Marie Franz, how old are you? You look young. So it's, okay. it's this is the, the product experience again. I'm 44. 44? Yes. yes. And what, what do you do for a living? Do you work full time? Do you have children? What else are you doing? I have two uh, two children. My my baby is 20 uh, 20 years old. <laughs> and me my my daughter have uh, 23 years old. Yes. Okay. And so, what do you want? what do you want? What is your why? What got you excited when you saw the other Marie France? Uh, when I when I saw the other Marie France, is uh, the stars in the is uh, is the stars her in her eyes. eyes. Yes, the stars and wow, 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 wow. <laughs> it, we 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 uh, we worked uh, together, me and Marie France. Okay, I can't remember who sponsored who. Marie France. <laughs> she sponsored you? Yes. Okay. Yes. And she so... also didn't want to come, eh? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, okay, that's cool. okay. <laughs> <laughs> She also okay. did not want to come to the meeting. <laughs> of course, of course. But but <laughs> again, Marie France, that. your your goal was to have them in person as well. Yeah. Marie France, why not? Okay. So so yeah. it, it seems to me then if I was going to add one more element to what's going on here, is that they're meeting people in person. The in-person meeting allows for the demos, which creates the stars in their eyes. Yes, yes. There's a reason behind it too, eh? In Quebec, we've been very much confined for two years. And I think that's where the desire to want to be in front of the person together hmm. the togetherness is very important here now yeah. as a result yeah okay and that connects to community yes yeah. uh, absolutely grassroots community uh, the reason i'm asking this is because mm -hmm. i i, I want to really help everyone realize something fundamental which is what you're doing is what we did when we launched Nikan. This yep. is what we did. We mm -hmm. made an appointment to see somebody and we did the demos. When I went to see my first person, I contacted them to see them, not to send information to them, yeah. but to actually see them. When I saw them, Bruce Black, I did the demo. I did a demo and it was on his knee. 
And that caused the starry eyes. And then the story continues from there. Yes. And so, and then when we did our, our launch, we did meetings at a hotel and the goal was to get people in the meeting room, whatever you had to do to get them to that meeting, because in that meeting, we put products on them. We did demos on them and we told stories, our testimonials, and that got people starry eyed. And then they respond by, by getting involved or purchasing the product. So the in-person now, I think, is there anything else that we that we're missing here? Because so far, what we've got is there's something that you're doing consistently. Um, daily, you're meeting with people in person, you're doing demos and testimonials. Do you have another thing, Mary France, to add? Uh, okay, which one? Either one. Okay, it's important to, to see people because the, the people have to 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 see how to, to or um to believe to believe, to believe. <laughs> to believe. Yeah. have to see to believe see, it's important very important i was i was uh, uh i i was working in uh, insurance and investment and it, it was the same thing the same thing okay so in the insurance business investment yes. business again yes. you got to see people in person because they it's person. hard to build trust it's yes. hard to build trust if you're not in person. Yes, yes. Cool, okay. Uh, when you went to see people, did you go alone? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Not all the time. Uh, when, I, when I go to see one person at a time, I go only. And I, I, I just um, try to, to, to make a show, so try to make a, come a group, a group, group oh, and okay. so, like an in-home meeting <laughs> yes yes like an in-home private meeting yes. so you're doing one-on-ones are yes. you inviting the people to the in-home meeting from your one-on-one -on -one or are they joining right away are they buying right away what's happening at that one once you meet with somebody what happens what's next do they do they buy? Do they join? Do they come to another meeting? Uh, the, the, if I go one to one, the persons to buy or or I can. Uh, okay. 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 okay, she will translate. translate. Yeah. Uh, when I meet with them in person, the people, often they will buy. Okay. Or if not, I try to organize events for. So she either meets them one on one, or she she books like a like a group. in home. Yeah, an in home with a group to, yeah. to create a wow. She says a wow event. A wow event. <laughs> okay, we love wow events. Wow. <laughs> um, now, when she meets with them one on one, mm -hmm. does it end there, or do those people do those people buy? Do they join or do they are they also coming to the the wow event? What what happens after you meet with somebody during that meeting? They buy. They, they buy. buy. What do yeah. they buy? Uh, they buy. Let's um, say can go uh, la, 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 la plaque de dos, la, la can go. The back yeah. mag flex. Yeah. Bottle. The water. Or the sport bottle. The bottle. Uh, yes. The the necklace. The power yeah. band. So they'll yes. buy items right then and there from you. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And do those people, does it end there or do you invite them to the meeting, the wow meeting? Uh, uh, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, sometimes yeah. I, I, I invite them to the meeting. Sometimes I, I just uh, go and present uh, only the products. Okay. So at the wow meeting, do you present only the products? No, well, she does the presentation. Like Leo will do the presentation. Okay. So Leo. she'll have Leo. So she'll have an A at the wow meeting. <laughs> yes. Do the presentation. Yes. Leo, you yeah. have your hand up. For me, it's important to have the ABC. So. Absolutely important. Yeah. <laughs> so if it's not Leo, I want to 
to to be a Marie France or a, another person to somebody your sponsor or yes. your or your upline, but you have an yes. ABC at the Wow meeting. Yes. Okay, really good, really really good. Again, it's an in home in home. Is that where you're meeting at somebody's house, your house? In my house, in the in the the other's house. In the other's <laughs> house. Okay, cool. Like uh, with my uh, my kids, I just say uh, help. Help your mother, please. <laughs> Just invite uh, your your uh, your friends, your uh, your uh, well, les voisins, les, uh, les neighbors. neighbors, neighbors, neighbors. Okay, okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. And um, sometimes we'll because uh, we work very much alike. But mm -hmm. when there's an excited person, right away we'll say, "When are you available to do this for you?" Like okay. they're on the spot. So you'll yes. you'll book a, a a meeting with them in their place. Book a meeting right on, from a meeting if they're excited. Okay, you know that's they call that like the party plan. That's mm -hmm. kind of the concept. Leo, you have your hand up. Yeah, you can. The first meeting I do to Marie France Hannah. I met the Marie France Miller. She invites six people. I just said, you are in training with me with your coach. It's mm -hmm. me. You just invite somebody. Can you help me? I'm a Begin a new project and I need to help half hour and then my coach will be there. Can you help me, please? I don't, she don't say I, I do a demonstration from product no. technology. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> she invite somebody to help for, uh, help for my training. training. And I go to my class and he has six guests and end of the night, two, two consultants like Marie France is there and for customer, not bad. And the so, first meeting I did to the Marie France Malheur, she had three guests. And end of the and the night, three new consultants. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the invitation is for for them to help you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Now that's really interesting because I've made that argument a lot. <laughs> 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 is to ask for help <laughs> okay good and in this case you're asking them to help you with you're being trained your coach will be there and okay. when they ask well what's it about what am i going to like what, what are we going to do do they ask you 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 have to you have to help me you have to help me no no uh no think about that just come and you have and to help, help. don't help. ask any questions just come. come and help all right okay so now it's it's um spectacle de magie magic it's like a it's like a magic show we, tell, we used to kid we joke around with them and say well it's a magic show and you're gonna have a, a great time just come okay because you're gonna help us and they're like, oh, okay, okay time. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love this approach. The magic it's show. True. We're laughing. I mean, that first meeting with, uh, we were laughing. We laughed for like three hours nonstop. <laughs> yeah. We're like, oh my goodness, you know, this is crazy. I, I fell in love with it just because it was because so much fun. fun. Yeah. Fun. Okay. Said, well, can we do this hang again? on a second. That's another big word. So another part of this that's making this work is mm -hmm. that you guys are creating a fun experience, a yes. fun environment, a fun experience. Yes. That's huge, guys. Mm -hmm. So the yeah. WOW meeting is a fun meeting. But Leo is very funny. <laughs> okay. So you're keeping it light, keeping it interesting, mm -hmm. very kinetic. People are experiencing stuff on the spot. Uh, your your message to invite is really simple. Help, please help. Um, it's it'll be fun, and you know you can help me. Um, okay, anything else? Did we miss anything else? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, how many people? <clears throat> I want you to think. How many people have you made contact with, and then met with? that's resulted in you becoming silver. So if you had to put a number or, or like you could say, I contacted 23 people, uh, 10 people became customers, five people joined as consultants. Do you have any of those numbers approximately? Like us personally? Yeah, yeah. It's a small number. What is it? <laughs> I wanna say under 10. You mm -hmm. contacted less than 10 people? 
I want to say five. Wow. Well, no. Well, there were six people at that first right meeting. So how many six. how many meetings did you have? Uh, two. M me personally. Okay, two meetings. So you had two six people three. at the first. Six at the first, I think. Oh, I don't remember the second one. Maybe four. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then there was a flop. I or I I ordered. <laughs> I invited like four or five people, but only two showed up. Remember, oh, that, Leo? That never happens to me. Yeah, ever. That, no, it never happens. People never <laughs> don't show up in my meetings. Well, <laughs> it happened, but, but, I remember but, doing a meeting in Mexico City one time. It was a Friday <laughs> evening. It was the worst time to do it, probably. I had 13 confirmed appointments. 13. And guess how many showed up? Confirmed. Oh my goodness. None. None. Oh no. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so the first Marie France, the second Marie France was part of your silver, was part of your going silver. I and, then, and then, so then the second Marie France, how many people did you invite? So part of the momentum is really her, which has you excited as well. That synergy between the two of you. Right. About um, 10. Okay, so I the person I use the person of the other person. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I don't a have, referral. I, I don't have to uh, to just uh, uh person. Not just the people you know, but also the people oh. they know. And not burn all my uh my circle of person, no. Okay, so Okay, well, this is important. I'll tell you why it's important. Because you, you have a formula for creating that fire. You have a formula for creating the fire. And I was, I was telling my, my girls earlier tonight, I said, you know, if you just duplicated what you've done, just what you've done, then you would have a lot um, more. You've gone, you've gone a lot further. Sometimes we think we gotta do more or we gotta do something different different because it's what we've done it's not enough we got to do different no you have to duplicate what you've done if you've done anything that's produced results you've got to now learn how to duplicate what you've done not do something different that's a mistake because you haven't learned the second lesson in network marketing which is to duplicate it's to do one thing learn how to do one thing that produces a result now duplicate that in someone else, which you guys have done together, Marie France and Marie France, you've done it together. So one person started, found another, helped that person. And so the two of you have created that experience. Yes. Yes, Marie France. But it's team support. To be honest, I have to say this because I think it's very important. You, uh, Mike, are very um, available. I've asked you a few questions and I didn't have to wait three, four days for an answer. That was amazing. And we had a Zoom together with a, a contact. That was amazing. I, I felt your involvement. I felt your caring. And Leo is, it, I don't know, it's like, <laughs> is it, is it, the apple didn't fall far from the tree because Leo is so available to us mm -hmm. and he hears us. He might not agree with it, but he he takes the time to listen. Mm -hmm. And that we don't feel alone. Awesome. We, we feel, you know, like a tree, you know, like a baby tree with a, um, what do you call it? Um, a sprout with a branch. You know, the, the, the thing that will hold the tree until it's yes. strong enough. Oh, yeah, to like the stake, the, the stake the, in the ground the, that holds the, stick, the tree. You know? yeah. So Leo is that great metaphor. Me, you know? So Excellent. I, for sure, why I went this far and I'm so excited is because I'm not alone. And I know if I would have, if I would have been told, okay, go do it, it wouldn't have been, I mean, yes, I would have still felt the same about the products, right. but I wouldn't have been propelled or encouraged or, or felt that fire to, uh, to do it on my own. I wouldn't have felt it that much. What what you're okay? So what you're creating by doing what you're doing is PGV, not just PPV. No, you're creating PGV, PGV. and I, I, those are the two 
variables in the Nikian equation that drive the business. It's PPV and PGV. And I think it, it was, uh, who was talking about it? Brody, I think, was talking about the oars in the water. That's the, the analogy that I use. If you use one oar, the boat just goes around and around. Doesn't matter which one it is. If it's just the PGV, the boat goes around. If it's just the PPV, the boat goes around. But if you do both, the boat starts to move in a direction. So it's really, really good that you're doing both at the same time. A lot of people think, let me learn how to sell the products first. I'm just going to do the, the one or in the water. And then they, you know, they do a bit, maybe they do a little struggle or whatever, but they're just going around in a circle because that's not getting them further down the road of the business plan that we have for them. And so what you're doing is you're starting off right. You're doing a, a something that you can teach someone else to do. And that's the key. That's what's next. What's next for you is to figure out who's next. Who's next that I can do this with? Which is what Leo's pretty much doing all the time. He's yes. like, who's next? Who, who's next? And he's helping them launch their business, campaign their business. Mm -hmm. And then when he finds that he's, he's not busy enough, he finds his own next. Mm -hmm. And that comes with the consistency of contact. So anybody have any questions here? Yes, uh, I just oh. wanted to know, yeah, how did the two Marie Frances meet each other? Because you have a very good relationship. And I'm, that is, I'm sure, also part of the reason and why things are clicking. But mm. how did you meet each other? We met on September 11th of 2021. <laughs> we haven't known each other that long. And then, then you know, she left That's for Mexico <laughs> and she came back. Uh, she came back when in April? Uh, no. How did you meet on September 11th? <laughs> With a, a friend. Uh, With a friend. common friend that, and the, con and you know, Okay, I have to share this, Marie France. This is too crazy. My, the, our friends, our couple friends, Leo, Nancy, P. Sebastien. Okay, mm -hmm. they were wanting to talk to her, so they said, but they picked me by mistake because we have the same name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now my friend from high school says, "Hey, Marie France, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be at home for supper." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" What's <laughs> did, did you invite me and I just forgot because I forget everything? Mm -hmm. And she goes, Oh, wrong Marie France. I'm like, Oh, no. And now I'm, I'm guessing she felt bad because I'm not invited for supper. So she goes, <laughs> Oh, well, we're going for a walk, whatever. And um, we're, when we come back, if you want to join us, you can. I'm like, Are you sure? You know, this I'm the wrong Marie France. And she's like, No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's for everybody. You know, it's just I wanted to tell the other one what time we were going to be home. Imagine if she would not have made that mistake. Would yeah. I be sitting here tonight? Interesting. Yeah. Because I would not know this Marie France. So I'm like, Oh my goodness. Life, okay. right? That's the people. That's the people. That's, the, that's, the, that's the pebble. mistake in the world. The pebble yeah. in the pond, the ripple effect. Yeah. That's that little. Okay. And Wonderful. I met her there for the first time. And then I saw, we saw each other, what, two, three times, maybe two, yeah. three times. And then she left for Mexico. I'm like, oh no, I like her. She's leaving. <laughs> and then, but I, I didn't have Nikin in my life at that time. And she came back maybe a month before I saw Nikin. A month and I ago. thought, oh, okay, yeah. She's here for six months. I've got to show her this, you know, mm. before she goes back to, to Mexico. And that's, it's only because we really are, our chemistry really fit together when we met each other. Okay, let's, let's turn this into a bit of a strategy now. So um, what we have is what we have, what you're talking about, by the way, what I, I have this in my book. If you ever decide to pick it up, <laughs> this book yes. called Science of the Neek End Business. There's a drawing in it. Um, it looks like an airplane taking off. And what that airplane taking off looks like it's doing is loops, but it's not doing loops. That's really meetings. It's doing one meeting after the next. So 
you had two meetings, Mary France, I think. Uh, did both of you have at least two meetings, maybe three meetings? Yeah. Three. There, here it is. Yeah. Three meetings? Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. Let me change screens so that the camera can pick this up. Okay, so what you see here in this drawing over here is the airplane is going down the runway and it's about to take off. And those circles represent meetings, 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 meetings. They could be one-on-one -on -one meetings. They could be group meetings. The point is they're meetings, 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 meetings. And what happens is you get the plane off the ground. That's how this works. Now, um, there's, a, there's, there's two other parts to this, just so you can identify where people are at. Um, you see over here, the airplane is at the gate, okay? They're at the gate. This means the person is not yet ready to take off. So what do they need? They need to build some more belief in maybe the product. So uh, it's like the plane is getting fueled. What fuels our business is our passion. And so they need some passion. Maybe the product product experience is what they need before the plane is fueled yeah. and starts taxing. Now, why is this thing going all over the place instead of going straight to the runway? Well, sometimes people need to do things their own way until they realize they need help, you know, to get started. And so then they get over to the, to the runway to get take to, to take off and they talk with the control tower. Who's the control tower? That's whoever you're planning your events with. In this case, it could be Leo, it could be your sponsor, the, the upline, that's the control tower. And they're saying, okay, I got you covered. We're ready to go. And then all out massive action is all of those different events that take place in a short period of time. Because if you don't do it in a short period of time, you're gonna run out of runway. And if you run out of runway before the plane gets off the ground, the plane's going to crash. So you want to help somebody get going and do that so that they can create an experience, which what is what you've done. Now, do it with somebody else. If you help people go silver, if that becomes your business plan, from now on, I'm going to help one person every month go silver. What would your business look like three months from now <laughs> what would it look like six months from now what if part of your business plan is to teach your plan so that means i'm going to help one person go silver this month next month i'm going to help another person go silver but i'm going to teach this person to help somebody go silver now there's three of us and then what am i going to do the next month i'm going to help somebody go silver i'm going to teach this person to help somebody go silver down here and this person and this person is going to help somebody go silver so you see what's happening it's starting to mushroom and that is the name of the game so you can either help somebody become executive or you can help somebody become silver. What do you think is the better plan? Silver. Silver. Yeah. Because Mike, I have, a I have a suggestion that I made to uh, Ruben. we post this master day that everybody's excited about. Uh, on that August 20th, um, the speakers and uh, both Luis and Ruben will be in Maui going from one from from Honolulu to Maui. So what Rubens, I asked him, I said, who's going to do it? He said, well, I have to get up at six in the morning to do it. So I said, why not those that are here doing it? So this would be, I mean, this is a small group here. So this would be wonderful now at the beginning of this month to go the third level down. And Paul has people also uh, so, and also those others that were on the panel, there were two on the panel that are executives to get their momentum going. So, so have the practice, just like you did the role playing before, just like you're doing here tonight, have that Seiko Kai class be handled by these success stories now to keep this momentum going. So from now until then, if they know they're going to be the speakers, then they're going to create the next silver. That's not and a bad idea. So, yeah, have that so that we need to be because we're not live in meetings. These no, are I think this is an important point. Um, yes. One of the things that our meetings are about are testimonials. It's an ABC. Yeah. 
And in an ABC, the job of the B is to share their story. So in this case, a Sekukai would be to encourage people to become silver. So whose stories do we want to hear? Yeah. We want to hear those silvers. All the new ones. Not the All ones the that new are silvers. That's, yeah. Those are the Bs. So um, that creates the, the, what I'm doing right now is I'm helping whoever's going to watch this playback is going to be inspired. He's going to learn. They're going to learn something about what it takes uh, to, to get silver done. And they may be doing things differently. This could help. If they listen to last week's call, Mary Frances testimony last week, they're going to hear her story. About but even she, if they're doing it differently and they got to silver, they should be featured too. So right, the point they is planning and announcing who they are for the uh, yeah. We can we can discuss that with with Ruben. Yeah. But I think what's really important here is that the takeaway is the, you have a, a game plan, you have a strategy that's working. Just now, duplicate it, duplicate it, duplicate it, duplicate it. Is your next role, and then always remember though. You need to find the next person yourself to help go silver. Now, in my career in Niken, I've lost count. I think it was 27. I've personally helped 27 people frontline become silver or above. At least 27. It could have been, it could be a little bit higher. It might be actually 30. But it's somewhere between 27 and 30 people over my entire Niken 30-year career that I've helped achieve the rank of silver or above. However, I didn't do it over 30 years. I did it in spurts, a group, and then I did another group, and then I did another group. And in between, I worked with the teams that, you know, helping the duplication happen. But what's good about having a group is you just don't know who is going to really take to this, even if they're silver. Doesn't necessarily mean they're going to really take to this. And I wanted to make sure somebody did. So my, my rule of thumb is simple. It's the rule of thirds. For every three silvers, I know one's going to really take to this. So if I want two, I need six. If I want three, I need nine. So I always thought that way and worked that way. And, and so I suggest that's why you don't take the foot off the pedal until you hit critical mass. Critical mass is when I have at least three going that don't need me to, to blow in the, the wind, they're going. That's when I've got critical mass. That's the first sign of critical mass. So it's coming. It's, it's just don't take the foot off the gas. So um, I think this was a great call. Paul, I think you have your hand up again. I do. I, I want to just remind us of the call that was done on April 11th where we talked about 60K and that, you know, really the, the, the old silver is closest to what we have for gold. Yes. And I'm, I really would like, I know silver is sort of this uh, thing that we have to get through, but it's not that big. And we used to get people to the equivalent of gold uh, in as many of them uh, as we as we now have this have silver. So I somehow I want it so that we're aiming higher with people right from the beginning somehow, uh, even though we have to go through that silver step. It's not a big step. It's just the old executive. Okay, so by the way, let me make one variation to this. So far, I've been talking to you guys who are silver, start making the duplication of silvers happen. However, when you talk to the people you're talking with, they don't know what silver is, it means nothing. So revert to last call where I talked about breaking through the board. Silver is not the goal. You break through silver. What's beyond silver? It's gold. What do we need to create gold? Teams. Teams, not just volume. So the focus you give the new person is gold. You understand your job is to get them to break through silver, then help them understand the plan. 
to duplicate the plan. But their focus is building a team. Their focus is to go gold and beyond because that's where things really start to pick up in the business. So your strategy that we're talking about right now for your business plan is one silver, one silver, one silver, one silver, because you've done it. Maybe next, when you've done it enough times, you might start thinking, how about a gold in a month? Can you create a gold in a month? I can tell you what Paul's talking about is coming. I know it because I know that we're going to start to revert back to business packs that are bigger volume items. You know, I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll have a wellness home pack for 2,000 or 3,000 points and people, that's how they're going to be taught to get started. You know, there's other network marketing companies that are selling $5,000 for one product. And so we're going to get back to the idea that a person initiating a business is going to be more likely to invest in it as they would a business. And so with that comes greater volumes in shorter spans of time, which means we can start targeting that gold as a, as a normal thing, as a thing that we just do because that's what we're supposed to do. Anyway, um, that's coming. And I think you guys are already on the right track because you've already been able to figure out what it takes. And what does it take? It takes in-person meetings, demonstrations. It takes some consistency. Get your A involved. Make it a wow meeting. Have fun in this meeting. And what you're going to do is a number of those meetings, and that's going to create the volume, the attraction, the excitement, the experience, the results. And then you find somebody else who wants to play next. That's it. The business in a nutshell. And they all do it, do it well. <laughs> and that's what's happening. Yeah. What we are is we're witnessing it happening with consistency. It's not a once in a lifetime. It's not a once in a blue moon. There's three of you this month alone. That says a lot. So congratulations for showing us the way again. Thank you. Have a great night, everybody. Have a great week. Thank you. Bye.